All right, we've got Boston here, and Dad brought him in. Uh, we are gonna do a summer cut, is what they want. We felt the ears together, and the ears are matted. And I was told he does not like his ears messed with. And after, sh we, uh, after showing them the ears, how matted they are, you'll see them when we get them out. If you're brushing really matted ears, it's definitely gonna make a dog hate you or hate the brushing of an ear that's matted. And both, the, both of the ears are matted. Do you notice that big puff from the ears? It's like puff like this. You can kind of call out a, a mats really easily. I don't know this baby. He's our first time groom. They found uh, us from referrals. And so we, they were upset. I, he, I said, ex explain to me. He goes, it's really hard to find a groomer just to do a decent haircut all the way around, right? And I said, well, explain that to me. He goes, well, the last time they picked him, picked him up, they had done the short haircut, and then they left the ears and left the tail, so he looked like a rabbit, is what the dad said. He goes, I want everything the same length. I want it all off, all the summer cut, nice summer cut, everything even, nothing like fluffy and all that. So it's a, it, that's a good, I get that a lot from men, and I, I get that, especially if these ears are matted. I would have left a little bit more on the ears and stuff, but we have a Cocker Spaniel Poodle mix here. All right, here we go. So we're going to do a 10 down everywhere here. We did look at the, so because they said the ears were, one of the neat notes is that the ears are, the, the dog does not like the ears messed with. So on Cocker Spaniels, they are really prone to ear infections. Every Cocker Spaniel I've groomed and helped has always had an ear infection. It's not something that seems to even go away, even with the right stuff. So it's a preventative. You gotta keep the solution I use for the ear flushing kit. You guys can get that on our website. This is one of the solutions. This you pour in the ear after you've cleaned it really well first. That stuff I have found is amazing. So if you need some, please let me know. Please buy with us. stand up here. Let me see. I think he's going to actually need the large dog up stand, but we'll just put this here just for a minute. It's all matted in here as well. Brushing is so important and you cannot do a good brush job without the right comb. So all this, look at this. You have to, this is great, right? But if you go from the skin out, you're missing a whole lot of stuff. Only the comb is going to tell you that. So this is all matted here. It's all coming off as one piece. It's all matted there. Definitely matted all in here.
See all that? I'm going to come at that at a different angle because it's matted in there. Blade's still good. Bring, come just bring, bring that blade straight down. Pretty tall dog, you know. Let me get that out of your way. Right now, you don't need to sit down. I'm good. We're gonna take all this off anyway. Might as well just get him so, so I can see his face a little bit. This is all matted, you can tell, can't you? When you're dealing with mats, you have to get under the mat. You can't just go, oh, I'll just take some of it off. No, you need to get under the mat. And the blade I would use is a 10 only. Look at this whole side of his face is matted. This is a, oh shoot, he has the phone. So I was going to do a quick video to the pet parents. Yeah, they already said do, and I already showed the dad, but I didn't show the mom. The mom's the one that booked the appointment. This is all matted ear right here. I am going to save this. This is an ear. Okay. I have a tray. I save every, I save proof. I have a tray. I can pick up a tray like, Goodwill. This old piece of kitchen appliance that's in the kitchen uh, kitchenware. I save ears. I save everything. Look at that mat, man. your face. Let's get in there and look at your face. How about that? forward honey look at your face right here you looking at me what I'm doing mm -hmm. There you go. Good boy.
can't even see what we're working on, can you? No, 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 no. It's all mad in here, probably from the collar. forward, move forward. I'm really giving my arm a workout here. Snap it in here. Okay, we're going to come back in a minute. I need to do a different video for the pet parent. Okay, so right here we've got a lot of matting. I actually saved a bunch of mats on that table right there. Um, but here we've got another ear that's really matted. I'm just gonna take this big one out right here and just give you an idea of what we're working with. So this is an, a huge mat, okay? Um, that's why his ears are gonna be short. I know we already talked about this. I already told the dad. So real fast since he's got the poodle mix it's going to grow out curly and what you want to do is be able to you know you're going to check with your comb a comb and a brush is essential so you're going to brush and then you're going to come back and check with your comb the whole body because this will all be gone this is just an example same thing back here so we have a lot of mats uh, down his chest so anytime you're brushing at home, you're gonna brush, 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 and then you're gonna come check. If you can't get that comb through, that's all matted from the skin out. Look at this, it's all matted. So all right, just, we just did a quick video for the mom, showed her the ears. I took out another, uh, one of the ears, is the other ear, it's pretty bad. I'm all about the proof. There's a reason why a groomer has to do something and why not have that proof? You guys all should have smartphones, but you know, if you don't have a smartphone, you might wanna get one. If you wanna get one, let me know, I'll help you get one, but. We're in a society right now that everything's video and chatting and stuff like that. So if you haven't figured it out, you're going to have to kind of come on, come on with it a little bit. But if you're a groomer, you should definitely have some proof and you should be, your prices should fit to according to what you're doing. You're doing $20, $30 a day, that's different. I mean, you might not have the time to do all that, but... The proof is going to be so helpful one day. You're going to be like, I am so glad I did that. Stop what you're doing. Grab some proof. If it means, honestly, don't, be, don't, this is, this is the truth. If you're going to do proof and they said, stop what you're doing, I would stop what I'm doing and charge accordingly. I've never had someone tell me after showing them proof to not continue what I need to do. Never had that happen. Would I get mad? No. I would just do what they asked me to do. They're, this is their dog and they're paying for the groom. So, just like if I'm doing something and if someone says, no, I don't want to shave, I would be like, okay, well, I can't help you. I'm going to stop right here, you know. Dude. this here but still holding pretty good get all these masks out here 
Can you guys see? Yeah. Come on. Can't believe you're taking it like a champ. Another one all up on his cheek and his side of his face. No, no, don't get out of there. I know you're pretty smart. No, 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 no. No, you can't go jumping off the table or anything. We're not doing that. So if you guys had this dog at home, you shouldn't bathe him in this condition. Okay, you should get all those mats out first. He's so tall, I got out of the camera back here. Let me see what's going on here. He's doing so good though, huh? You're doing so good, sweetie. You're moving around a lot, but you're, at least your temperament's really great so far. Okay, one more. Stay, 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 look up. Let me figure out what's going on here. Sit, sit, sit. Da, 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 da. Let me see. Oh, that's a big one, that's what it is. Hang in there. Let me see, look up, look up. Good boy. Great. Wow, that's a lot of mats. Stop. No, no.
nào Inside that back leg really matted as well. It's always this side when I got this one done. The entire tail was matted. See if I can get you guys close-up stuff. Up, up. I don't know. Can you see those mats and stuff? Right here, where this hair is, just push this piece of skin in there, right there. You can get it, uh, a lot of it out right there, like that. Push it back on, on the other side too to get that side flat. That way you don't have to dig inside that little area, that little... Really? <laughs> Are you doing a butt crawl right here? Because you can actually feel your butt now? <laughs> Stand up. No, stay. Okay, something that's really important is on our top. Oh, okay, he's just, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You don't feel good down there now because you can feel your butt as well. The whole mat's gone. That's what's, that's what happened. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. See this hair right here? All this hair? If you have a male dog, you don't want it to get that bad. Okay? See all this hair? This can just potentially hold on to a lot of bacteria where they pee and cause an infection. We see this a few times. We've been seeing it a lot lately. If you have a pet like this, you know, get in sooner or trim it yourself. Real gently down there. I know there's mats here, but just kind of go Gently, can't see anything, so look at that. All that should be off, so that's how much uh, hair was there. Nope, nope, nope. Really tall dog, isn't it? Whew. Getting some arm workouts in for sure. Okay. You're doing so good. Yeah, you are. You're doing so good. <laughs> You're doing so good. Now your butt's all. What is your butt? You're tucking your butt in there? <laughs> Let me see. Up. Oh. Uh, can you check and make sure everything's good back here? It's just bare, right? He can actually feel his butt now. <laughs> Come on. Oh. We'll see. Hopefully it's not an anal gland issue, but I'm going to say it's because of the hair is gone now. This is his tail, so this is, his, this is your tail. I took it off. He's matted. Yeah, that's why your, your butt feels cool now. Yeah, it's okay. 
It's okay, all right? It's all right. Got hair. <laughs> Got hair all over my face still. Do the pads, okay? Missy? Missy? Can't really see it. Let me go up. This is the 40, my favorite for the feet. Nope, stop pulling. Stop pulling. Use your own fingers as a backing. Good boy, I got some mats out of that, so I know that was kind of not, didn't feel that pleasant. Smell? Hmm? It's all good, right? It's all good. See, smell, smell, good. Not a lot on these. Not a lot on those, huh? Sometimes you don't need to trim. You don't. Just leave it. <laughs> Let me see. See, smell. Smell. Good. Good. Don't do that. Look away. What am I doing, huh? Smell? Yeah. You can trim your toenails, okay?
There's lots of dust. Is it where's it going in your nose or are you wearing a mask? You smell? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Look at me. Look at me. Hi. Are you guys able to capture some of this? He's uh he's got a great character. Let's do your front nails, okay? Here, one more. Let me see. Look at me. Yeah, look at me. Good boy. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Don't worry about that. No, no, don't worry about it. Good boy, hi. You're sitting on my hand. I'm gonna have you stand up though. You should stand up. That's not working for me. That's not working for me. No. No. The answer is no. 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 Focus. Focus. We'll play around later. Focus. No. Nope. Good. Very good. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yes, it is. Okay, sit. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Stay there. Let me check your ears. check the ears good make sure they're not infected at all even a hint that way we can catch it before it's work bad or you know what I mean before it gets anywhere but it might be just fine no signs there Nothing. Little tiny brownness, but very, not a lot. If he were my dog, though, just because of the Cocker Spaniel mix, I would forever, I would forever do this. I would forever flush once a month. If it was just uh, my dog, we would, you would want to flush every bath, okay? That's your preventative for an ear infection. If you only do once a month. That all right, here we go. So the text message I received back from mom was that she has all the tools. She goes, I have tools. We were a couple months behind on his usual grooming because of moving. So she said she has all the tools to work through the mats that he has, that he had. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna move on. We're gonna do finish up the tin everywhere. Let's clean it up a little bit, and then we'll be good to go. He's doing something interesting with this hiney. I don't normally do anal glands unless we're asked to do them or we have an issue. He's a pretty young dog, so I wouldn't think that we should do anal glands, but I am going to brief the parent that we did not do anal glands, and if they continue to scoop, maybe that might be something interesting to do. Not interesting, but needed to do. However, he might be scooting because, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm saving the mat there. The mat was huge on us. It was his entire tail. Okay.
-hmm. So right now I really want to comfort him and have fun, but he moves a lot. And if I show him like any high pitch or start talking to him, I know I'll get a lot more movement, which will make it a kind of more of a dangerous situation. But he is doing very, very good outside of that. I just don't want to excite him at all. So I'm just going to keep it nice and quiet until we're done. Okay? Because he's tall and he's slinky and he keeps trying to fall off the table and little stuff like that. inside his body look this stuff here hold on let me see da, da, da. let me see see that okay there's more da, 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 da. literally okay pulling it out like a needle so you see it da, da, da. let me get in here and see Glad I did that. He's not a dog that you should be, you know, you don't need to do a clean feed on him, but I'm glad I did, right? You never know what you might find. It looked matted, so I wanted to kind of clean it out here. Now I'm gonna inspect them all.
Remember how thick his feet were? That's why. We might as well just take him down like that. It's better to be safe than sorry. Go ahead and just check everything over real good if they're going to leave it that long. The buildup is that long. Okay. This cord's upsetting me right now. Can I have you see? Let me see. Come on. I'm gonna come at this foot from the no, no, come over here. Come on, excuse me. See this foot this way. Let's see. Let's see. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Whisper though. Whisper please. Yeah, I did. That's fine. You can catch her out. But just wait tell her to whisper because she's a wild one on the table. You know, I'm about five minutes.
Nope, go forward. Nope, look forward, look forward. my phone, David. He, he okay, could, so that dog, uh, he could smell the mom walk in. It was crazy. As soon as he, I could see him go like, catch her whiff. I don't know what happened. Immediately, I was like, no, no, no. As soon as, you know, fit, wrapping up the ears. So thank goodness we got done. I just walked him outside and they were happy. They, they loved the fact he didn't have fufu. They didn't, they didn't want any puffy stuff on him and a better place. And, and hopefully we're, we're not at the same place as we were with the mats. So here we go, you know, just before we recap, these are serious mats. These are all huge mats I saved on this table. So I told her brushing is so important. Okay. Brushing is so important. Look, I can't, I don't even want to look at this one. Look at this. Oh my goodness, man. Okay. I mean, really? So hopefully we won't be back here. I mean, this is his face. His face and his ears. Okay? All right. You get my point, right? All right. Thanks for watching DD Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. You cannot do it without a brush and a comb. We have brush and comb kits. Please check out myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. That helps us help you guys get all this free education, free learning. All, everything to do with dogs, right? We'll see you next time. Thanks for shopping and thanks for being a part of our world. Thank you. Bye. So on this video here, it's a perfect opportunity for me to explain to you what happened after this. And if you're a groomer, I hope you watch this and I hope you take note. The reason why I started recording in my career was not only did technology kind of evolve for us, but it really started on a cell phone. So if I was grooming a dog that was completely matted, after the pet parent had already left, I would have proof before I would even continue grooming that dog. I would record a session, record a moment, record the knots and tangles, the comb, the brush, it not working out, and why I, I believe we need to do a shave or we need to go, not a shave, but because there's so many definitions of shave, but to go closer, a closer haircut, which is underneath the matting, right? So if you're watching my channel, you know that a lot of dogs I get are senior disabled aggressive and a lot of them come in matted. I mean, a lot. So we do one dog at a time, and the reason why some veterinarians will send me those matted dogs, or they'll find me, some other groomers will send them to me, is because we can potentially get those dogs done faster. And with less stress, because they're usually the only dog here. Not always, but usually. So this specific pet came in and they didn't want to take a lot off. They had explained that the dog had been shaved before and we can kind of see why. If the dog was matted like that in the past, that same groomer, another groomer, that another groomer doing the same thing is gonna want to do the same thing. They're not gonna want to brush all that out. This was not one of the worst cases of matting, but there was mats on there. Literally shaved off the entire, the tail was its own whole tail after I got, uh, got it off. When I first started grooming, the cameras didn't ha weren't evolved, the cell phones were not evolved like that. Now you can quickly take a video clip and shoot it off to somebody. 
So I recommend you do that for your clients in schools that you're in. When a client walks in and you know you're going to potentially have some skin problems, some mats, any wounds, if you have a hot spot that you find during the groom, immediately capture that on video and picture. And this is why. With this specific pet, it was a first time client, new client. The delivery was done by her husband or, or boyfriend. So it wasn't done by the person who actually booked the appointment, the person you talked to, the person you explained everything, the, the fees, the prices, the matting fees. It wasn't that person that dropped off. However, that person, I remember, was a three-way conversation on speaker. So I know he had heard a lot of the things I had spoken to him about. When it came in, he didn't want it shaved down. But I went through the groom and was like, this is all we can do. And I did pictures and videos throughout and sent them. If they had said, Didi, I don't want it. I don't want you to shave them, then I would have just turned them away. I'm really glad I had proof in this situation. This is what happened. Very rarely do I need to use the proof, but I'm really glad I do. Matter of fact, we decided after this groom that we were going to record every dog if possible. If we had the battery and it was working right, if our momentum was going well, it didn't cramp our, our appointments coming in the time, then we were going to record nonstop 24 hours, you know, like every groom to protect the person working with the pet because the last thing you want in your salon is someone being blamed for something they didn't do. And I have a really big problem with that because I know what it feels like to be blamed for something you may not have done. This pet, when the pet was on the table, let's rewind and look at it. Look at it slowly. I went to do the tail, he kept sitting down, right? Because it was matted and painful. When I finally went through the, okay, we do a rough in. Rough in means we groom and shave the dog beforehand. That way you have less hair to blow dry. Why waste all that time blow drying hair that you know you're going to take right off anyway? It shaves so many minutes, and minutes count when you're doing one hour grooming. That's just my, my salon, okay? That's my thing. The dog's on the table. I'm going to shave the tail. You see him sit down, so I actually roll, come around, and I, I groom a different part of his body. I go back to the tail later. When I take the tail off, I'm like, saving that, and I did, I saved it. I took a picture of it too, it's on my cell phone. Took a picture of all the knots I took off that dog. The dog, after I shave his tail, do you see what he did? He slumped his, not even just like sat, he like popped, plopped his butt and his tail down. Immediately telling me, wow, he didn't like how close it was. That, I know that as a groomer, because I've been doing this a long time. If a dog doesn't like a really short haircut, then they, they do that. They're like, oh, he can feel how cold it is, right? Or how cool it is now because it was completely matted. So you take the matted tail off and now it's like, whoa, wispy and you can feel the wind, you know? Feel me? Well, he plopped his, his uh, hiney down. And then during the rest of the roughing, which is before the bath, he continues to plop his hiney down. And I knew he was gonna have a problem. He wasn't plopping his hiney down beforehand, was he? No, he wasn't. He was standing up or sitting down. He wasn't doing this plop. And he would just slam his butt on the ground and kind of move his tail, move his butt. So I captured that on video because I was doing a video session. So if I didn't capture that, check this out. This is what happens next. We go to the bath. Every dog has anal glands. Every dog doesn't need anal glands. It's done. So if they don't tell me to do anal glands and they don't have the signs, nipping or chewing the tail, funky, fishy rear end odor, uh, dragging the butt on the ground more than twice, three, more than three times a month. If, the, if those are my signs that I ask, if they are not doing those things, then we are not going to do the anal glands. We do them internally. I've been trained by a veterinarian to do them, so I do them internally like a veterinarian would. He's not showing any of those signs except for when I shaved that that hiney and got those mats off. He started plopping. So in the tub, plopping back on for rough out that means after the bath after the dry and coming back plopping if you can catch capture count like how many times he's plopping so many times that I noticed that I brought it to the attention of the pet parent when we went out there when the pet parent picked up we went out there together I can't remember if that parts on video but he plops right in front of her and I said as soon as we took the mat off the tail he started doing this plopping thing please watch him and I believe it was so matted and it was now it's so fresh, it's so new to him, it had been matted so long. You know how something's matted so long? As soon as you shave it off, it's like, oh wow, it's airy, it's light, there's no matting, and it's actually healthier. Except for now, the pet is not used to that. Mats actually pull to the pull on the skin no matter where they're at. If it was on the tail, it was just pulling on the tail like this, and it was that that pulling consistently for however long that tail was matted. 
The pet parent goes home. The next day, the pet parent texts me and says, she's concerned about the dog. She, the dog won't stop itching its tail, licking its tail, doing this stuff, okay? And she's concerned about it. And I said, I can tell you right now, it's because the mats are not on the dog's tail. And I have video of it, right? And I, that's all I kind of left it at. She mentioned like, she was pretty concerned. So it sounded like she had gone to work all day and then she texted me later in the evening. And she said, we're going to the vet right now. I think it was 6.30 p.m. or it was late. It was like, I, I would think it would be an after, mar after hour charge at the veterinarian, which I know is expensive. I work in this industry. So she says, I'm going to the vet right now. He has a butt problem. You shaved him too close or, or, or some, something like that. And I said, honestly, I didn't shave him too close. I actually took off all the mats underneath I, and there was no burning. I did not burn that dog. And I have it all on proof because there wasn't no stopper editing. There was no switch to the video. It was just straight through. You watch the whole groom. He started plopping when I got the mats off of his butt and tail, okay? So, and I gave her that warning when she picked up. I said, hey, this is what happened and I have it all on video. Matter of fact, I had texted her little videos throughout and text her pictures throughout to let her know, we have an issue here, he's really matted, really tangled up to the skin. So that dog, she said, uh, she, when she got home from work, that dog, wherever it was at, in a kennel or at home, he had been scooting his piney on the ground for quite a while. If you can imagine brush burning your knees, walking on the carpet, playing with your kids, and you brush burn your knees, whatever you, I brush burn my knees, and I didn't have to spend very much time dragging my knees on the ground, or my elbow, or my arm, when you're roughhousing on carpet, right? So if you take your high knee, which has now gotten a fresh haircut, and you smooth it across any anything, even concrete, he was doing it right out here in my lobby before they left. Concrete, especially, we've seen that, but also carpet. Carpet burn will be really bad. So she, she does go to the veterinarian, and I said, look, I told you that this was, this was possibly gonna happen. I needed you to watch him closely, and so the key thing to kind of remember is having this video, having a video, having a camera. If you need a camera, if you need a certain phone, I can help you. Just contact me. I just want you to protect your ass. And I like to say it like that because it's real. If you don't have proof, then you can't show facts. You can't show what happened. And so even the veterinarian who doesn't know anything about what happened, and they're going off just what might maybe someone is saying. If you have proof of that, you can say, hey, as soon as I took this mat off, he didn't see the mat, the veterinarian didn't see the mat, right? So what my whole point is, me and that client went back and forth and all I did, I didn't have to say anything. I just said, this is, the, this is what happened. And if you watch the video from start to finish, you see that the, the hiney hitting the table all happened before the bath. Because what her main thing was, she wrote me and said, what shampoo did I use? The dog may have a shampoo reaction happening. And that wasn't it at all. It was the mat being removed from the body and the dog not getting used to it. And you can see it unfold because all the scooting and all the popping the butt onto the table all happened before the bath even started. So if you're a groomer, you need protection. And I hope, I hope if you're grooming for a profit, if you're grooming for a business, I hope you already have insurance because you really need insurance to protect, protect you, your employees or your contractors, and you need insurance to protect the pet. If you're doing business without insurance, give me a call. I'll help guide you in the right direction. But the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> you really need to be careful. Video record what you're doing. I do it, and that's how it started, was just to have proof. And this is a very simple, just me sharing with the world our grooming and that's a very simple example of how a client can come back and say there's uh, problems with the pet groom, it was a shampoo or it was a razor burn. None of those things are accurate because the dog was so matted. When a dog is matted, things are going to be different when you remove the mats. It may not always work out to your benefit, but it should have never been matted to begin with. So have your proof and protect yourself. Thanks for watching Dee Crow with my favorite groomer on YouTube.